Welcome to Warriors TV, the highlights of this game between the Whitley Warriors and the Nottingham Lions. Myself, Matty Donaghy, here with you for this one. Working the commentary and the camera, but I'll do my best to guide you what should be on paper a good game for the Warriors, winning all their games against the Lions last season. But some young, tenacious Nottingham players will be looking to make the task of the Warriors harder for this one and after some worries that he was leaving the team Roland Grisans does indeed ice for the Warriors tonight so let's take a look at the highlights and carry through the middle now Warriors coming to the line zone good shot there and I'll go around for Finlinson now Finlinson picks that up in the corner right into the slot but nothing from that one Finlinson to Johnson on the blue line and a missed pass there gives Britans the chance to carry that one in for the Warriors and a very very good chance there for the Warriors early on in this game Woods keeps that in on the blue line they've managed to get that one all the way through and get a tap on it so no ice and cold for the Lions there and looking pretty strong now just managing to avoid the Warriors defence but uh, a big Check coming in there and the Warriors will collect it now and it looks like we are getting an interference call now on on Kyle Ross for that hit in the corner and Dylan Hare trying to collect that one a great shot from <laughs> a great shot from the lines there but a little bit of traffic <laughs> in the crease there and Turnbull managed to get a whistle blown from there but a great save from Turnbull there Watson passes it to Edgar Watson again throws it into the middle and some pushing and shoving around the net there but One of the Lions players just having a few words with, with Watson there, but... So good work there from Watson, just trying to just trying to tap that puck in from an awkward angle, and, uh, and every right to do so. So Ross will go in for this face off for the Warriors and manages to get it out. Warriors, Holland tries to smack that one into the net, and uh, somehow it just didn't go in. Ross back around the boards now. Finlinson will collect that on the other side of the ice. And trying to cut in there. Shouts from the crowd for a possible trip there for the lines, but not pulled by the officials and Wood trying to carry that one in, but dispossessed and Warriors will just calm and collectively Fraser carries that one in. Drops it off for Holland now. Holland goes across. Finally tapped in in the end by Finlinson. A shot from the point that took an awkward bounce. And that one just tapped in by Finlinson. Picked up the puck, threw it down to a stick, and tapped that one in. And the Warriors have their first goal with 9 minutes and 39 seconds left in this first period. It's 1 0 to the Warriors. Lions tried to come away from it, got some good stick work there from the Warriors, managing to strip them of it. Connor Lewis collects this one, he's got a Lions player trying to shut him down, and the Lions have this now, passing it across to the middle, and just like that, with less than a minute in the first period, the Lions able to level this one up. Turnbull going down to try and get that one, but just sneaks in the right near side post and a great boost for the Lions ahead of the second period they've leveled this game with 38 seconds left Warriors 1, Lions 1 and the Warriors trying to make a the Warriors trying to make a, a, a very quick response to that Lions goal and you can almost argue that was a check to the head straight 
away on Adam Villanson there. He went down straight to the ice. And he's not looking in a good way. He's going straight to the dressing room, Adam Villanson. He is going straight off the ice now. And I believe the discussion that will be happening between the officials right now with the Lions player not going straight into the box is whether that is going to be a game misconduct for the Lions. We could very well see that right now. What the officials have decided is they're going to end the first period there due to the blood on the ice. And uh, we'll hope that Adam Finlinson is indeed okay after, after that hit. So the 32 seconds of the first period that were never played uh, due to the blood on the ice we're picking up before we start the second period and we can confirm that it is indeed a match penalty to the Nottingham Lions now killing a five minute power play for the Warriors. Match penalty, check to the head. Harley picks that one up. Harley goes back into the Warriors zone. Throws that one up the ice. Tries to get that one on net. But that will be the end of the first period. At the beginning of the second period. So, Eggenau. And two minutes left on the minor uh, on the match. So just under two minutes left on that match penalty, and the Lions gain another penalty for slashing, putting the Warriors on a five-on-three power play. Edgar in for that one then, and Holland is going to go into the corner for that, but collected now by Rittams. Rittams goes the point. Fake the shot. Fake the shot and then carried it into the middle. And a nice snapshot there. And Rittams buries that one in the back of the Lions goal. Warriors quickly capitalising on that five on three opportunity and it's 2-1 to the Warriors. Too many bodies in the lane there and Chalmers has it on the blue line across to Kippen again. Kippen tries to go for a pass but the Lions have got a break on here and it's one on one for the Lions and that shot going wide and the Lions won that one but Lost it on the blue line and Barnes is carrying that one in. Barnes tries to get the pass across. And Barnes went for the pass across, but I think it was Barnes. He put it in the back of the net in the end. And just like that, it's 3-1 to the Warriors in this one. thrown into the Warriors end. And an opportunity out of nowhere there, the Lions managing to pull back a goal here. The Warriors storming ahead with a quick two goals in succession, but the Lions fighting back in this one. Three to the score now. Johnson has two Nottingham players on, on him and it's a great skill there from the Lions player trying to bring that one around and tap it in but uh, just caught by the pads of Turnbull on that. Tap that one in to negate the icing call and Brittans working the way in the corner, strips the line to the puck, throws it out into the middle, Holland unable to get the shot off there but a great opportunity set up by Grittans there and Grittans takes a fall manages to get back up and to put it politely Grittans falling flat on his face in the corner gets back up comes over gets the pass across the front of the Lions net and that is a goal for the Warriors and it's 4-2 in this game 
dispossessed but manages to get that one across. It's great work there from Britain to try and keep the puck with the Warriors but the Lions coming out with it and Well, Watson going into the box then, and that will be the end of the Warriors' power play in this one. But Ali does get there in the end and stretch that down the ice, and that'll just about be it for the Lions' power play. Oh, and right as I said that, maybe commentator's curse on that one. The Lions slap that one in the back corner, off the post, into the Warriors' net. There was literally two seconds left to kill on that power play, but they have capitalised on it indeed. And the Lions, only one goal behind the Warriors now. It's a 4-3 game. Warriors 4, Lions 3. Throws it around the back of the net, but Whitan's managing to come away with that one. And tapped in at the back post by Dean Holland. Great hands there. Just strip the line to that puck once again and managing to get that one across to Dean Holland. Tapped in at the back post and a quick answer from the Warriors. Very quick response to that line's goal. Setting that one up from behind the net will be Edgar now and Edgar coming up through the centre, passes it to Holland. Throws it back to Edgar in the centre. What a goal from Phil Edgar. Sets that one up in the Warriors' defensive end. Throws it across on the right wing. Dean Holland coming in with him. And a pass straight into the centre. And he had two Lions players closing him down. Phil Edgar able to put that one in the top of the net. The score now is Warriors 6, Lions 3. 20 from 14 from 24. Ethan Hepp and Watson Dylan. Watson behind the Lions net. Passes it to Harley waiting on the blue line. Dylan Hepp now. Dylan Hepp passes it in to Watson. Waiting for it and a quick one-timer from Watson. Just scoops that one straight in the back of the Lions net. Not even 30 seconds past since the last goal. And the Warriors already adding to their lead now. 7-3 to the Warriors. and just not able to tap that one in the back of the net as it goes wide and Warriors back full strength and the Lions will just throw that one around. He was sat in the slot there but the Lions couldn't get a stick on it and Barnes now whizzes away off the left wing. Big point hit on the net there from Barnes. Lovely work from Britain's had a great shot. And a great glove save from the Lions. Don't mind it there as well. 
and that will do it for this one. The game starting off on an even slope before the Warriors ran away with it in the end. A night of thrills here in Whitley Bay with the final score 9-3 to the Warriors. A great effort from Nottingham though, some chances, some great chances even created, just not reflected on the scoreboard tonight. The two sides not having to wait too long before meeting again as Whitley make the trip down to Nottingham this coming weekend.